Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Bobo. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys once again the best Soul Reaper build or uh type soul. Now I made this video a while ago. Uh probably like I don't know when the team first came out, probably like a month ago now. Uh, but yeah, the builds have changed a little bit, so I want to go over what the new best builds are. So if you guys end up enjoying the video, like and subscribe. Uh but yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so for the best weapons, the best weapons have stayed the exact same, I'm not gonna lie. Longsword crit is still very much so brain dead. And um, Katana is still going to be your second best option. There really hasn't been anything that meta-wise changes with the weapons. Um, Dagger is still okay. You can use something like Spear or something like that. But the two best ones are by far going to be Katana or Longsword. They're just overall going to be the best ones uh, for versatility and just, you know, things like that. Um, and then obviously, if you're Hakata, the Shunkos that you guys are going to want to use, in my opinion, is going to be Wind or Fire. I feel like those ones are still just going to be the best ones in general. Now for Sheetai's. Now, there has been a lot of new Sheetai's you guys can see. There is way more than the last time I made this video. And honestly, it's still going to be personal preference, in my opinion. I feel like you can literally be good with any of these. They all have their own uses. But the best one is going to be Benahime. Now... There has been a lot of videos calling Benahime cheats. There's been a lot of videos calling it amazing. So you guys are probably confused and don't want to spin for it. But I will tell you guys right now, it is good. It is probably the best mythical inside the whole game. Um, I don't personally have it, so I can't show you guys it. But it is insane. Once we get used to it, once when the whole community gets used to it, they will realize as well, it's probably the best mythical in the whole game. Um, I've seen some people that have used it and are actually really good with it and yeah it's it's uh very strong to say the least but other than benahime obviously you can guys can use flower you guys can use eyes uh blood or suzume bachi all those ones are pretty decent for rares i would say fire winds on dead soup poison are pretty strong and then for commons berserk and lightning are still basically the strongest things inside the whole game now i would not recommend theater now last time i made this video i was heavily recommending theater um but it's just not that good ice is simply better than it because the counter on ice is better than theaters um and you know the moves in general are better on ice than theaters so yeah uh for shikai's the ones that i personally recommend number one is gonna be benahime and then probably ice and then probably lightning those are my personal top three but like i said you can be good with literally anything inside the game um especially for shikai's all the shikai's are super strong and all the bomb ties are super strong so really any of them you can use they're all really good um, but the ones that I'm going to personally recommend is going to be Benahime, Ice, and Lightning. Now, for the best clans. Now, the best clans, um, for some reason, the clans aren't popping up. But the best clan, I believe, is going to be Shutara now. It used to be Hiyosube. But they removed uh, Ray Steel. Or Ray, just in general. Basically, no clans really have Ray Regen now. So, I believe Shutara is going to be the best one. But Furzaki, all those are still very good. Zaraki is also very strong. Um, really any legendary clan will work. Even Hiyosube will still work. It's just way worse than it was before. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much going to be the best build for Soul Reapers. Um, now, that's like for all these. Now, if you guys are wondering what the best actual skill tree is, um, they're all really good. Don't get me wrong, they're all really good. Shunko for Hakuna is really, really strong. Um, the certain shunkos like i was saying wind and fire are really strong um but it depends if you like talk if you don't like talk then obviously don't go it um and i believe with shunko you can't get spine rend which kind of does make it a little worse the spine rend is going to be the best move for hotada you guys won't be able to get that if you do go shunko but even without it uh shunko's crits are still very very strong which still makes hotada pretty viable then we have kendo um, in my opinion, Kendo is probably going to be the best thing for Soul Reapers just as the uh, amount of damage that it does. And it pairs super well with a lot of the um, guys inside of the game. So that's why Kendo is probably my number one most recommendation one. Um, because it just has a lot of damage. It has really good combos. It just has everything good about it. And then we have Keto. Now, I believe Keto was nerfed, but it's still super strong. The essence is still super strong. So if you want to do Keto, you can. But you guys don't really have one set Shitai that works really well with it. I believe your best option for Shitais would probably be Wind with Keto. Um, but yeah, you guys don't have any crazy options when it comes to Keto as a Soul Reaper. Um, and your weapon is really like, you don't really have one because there isn't a ranged crit for Soul Reapers yet. 
Um, and then we have speed. Now, I'm not going to recommend healing because it's just been hard nerfed so many times. Uh, but speed is also very strong. The personal build that I will be recommending to you guys is going to be 40 speed and 25 pendo. The reason for that is because you can get a Viscerate and you can get Sonata. Still have the speed moves, which are genuinely a little bit better in my opinion. Um, on my personal build, I just went full kendo, but I probably will uh, blue pill to actually go 40 into speed and 25 into kendo. I feel like that's just all in all the best one. Because if you guys do know that, then you still get vertical down and split day, and then you can get two kendo skill boxes, and then you just get the speed moves, which are really fun to use and pair really well with basically every single Shikai inside the game. Um, but yeah, to basically give you guys the rundown on the build. The one that I personally recommend is going to be 40 speed and 25 kendo, but you guys didn't run Shunko, you guys didn't run Keto. All that is personal preference. As I said, it all depends on your play style. You do not want your, you don't want to force yourself to play a certain thing that you won't end up enjoying um, or that you won't end up being good with because once again, it's all kind of personal preference. Um, but yeah, once when you guys get your still tree set up, then you guys can decide what Shitai you want. I believe Benahime is going to be the universally best one. But there might be one that you like a little bit more. I know that there's people that love blood. I believe Infernasu, um, he loves blood. Like, I don't think he'll ever switch off of blood. Um, but at the same time, like, blood isn't the strongest thing. But if you get super used to one thing and you like that one thing, you might as well just stick with it instead of uh, risking it on a reroll. Um, but yeah. Now, obviously, there's Visored and True Visored as well. So the best variance, in my opinion, for Visored is going to be a... Um, attack, defense, and HP regen, in my opinion, is going to be the best one. But all of them work really well. I think the only one that I personally don't recommend is going to be Ray regen, because it's the only one that you don't really need. But your options are attack, defense, HP regen, Ray regen, and speed. Um, and like I said, the only bad one, or it's not even bad, but the only one that I wouldn't personally use is going to be Ray regen. Um, I would personally use a visor free roll if I had Ray regen. Um, but yeah, that's kind of up to you guys. But yeah, once it's done, once we get those wiser variants, once we get your bond and all that, uh, once we get your build ready, you guys are pretty much ready to use whatever build you want. Um, the strongest builds right now are for sure going to be Benahime, Ice, and probably Lightning, paired with 40 speed and 25 kendo. In my opinion, that is going to be the strongest build that you can run as a Soul Reaper right now. But like I said, don't force yourself to play a certain build just as I said so. Like, Keto is still very strong. Octa is still very strong. You guys can use technically whatever you want as long as you are good with it. Uh, because there will be broken Shikais that come out in the future. And everyone's going to say that they're broken. Um, but if it does not fit your personal play style, it will not be broken. But some baseline suggestions at the very least from me is going to be Fire. Um, Zonjetsu is even pretty decent. Ice, Flower, Benahime, Berserk, Lightning. I feel like those five or six are all very strong and anyone can really use. But like I said, there might be one that I'm not recommending, like Creation. Creation's decent in some people's hands. Like, if you really like Creation, go ahead and use it. Um, but yeah, I would just personally test it out, test every, all the different builds. Um, they're starting to give more rerolls, which is nice. But yeah, in my opinion, that's the best build for Story Reapers. You guys can feel free to leave your own thoughts in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you guys until the next one. Peace.